What's up? I'm Clyde, and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. You are uh, a new favorite of mine. Your voice is incredible, and your music is incredible as well. Um, so I want to dive right in and, and talk about the new single, Hotel Room, and, you know... Uh, I love the vibe on this record. Uh, I, I love how it starts off with this like acoustic kind of vibe and then it starts to build into this more punkish, rockish kind of vibe throughout the song. Um, talk to me about like that initial process of like uh, of, of thinking about this song right as you were starting to write it. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me, man. Uh, I'm really happy to hear that. Uh, happy to be here. And um, yeah, like Hotel Room just like dropped like a couple of days ago. And, um, yeah, it's like, like all of my songs are like mostly based like on real stories. So it's like literally like telling like the story of me, like some stuff that happened with me and like, uh, some girl, like whatever, like the, the, and, and yeah, it was like a, a real thing. So it was like kind of easy to like write the whole story. And I don't know, for like one or two years already, I'm like very much into that grungy vibe that like rockish vibe. So um i was like in, in la like last year in may or something and I, I met like with a producer and he was like yo we should do something like that because like i'm also like it's always easy for me to write like ballads and sad stuff and he was like man we should do like some stuff like this and i was like yeah sure let, let's actually do it and, and we wrote that song so so yeah it's totally my vibe and there's definitely more music like that coming how did that new kind of vibe uh change the way that you write your lyrics mm. I don't even, I don't think it affects my lyric that much. It's like maybe a little bit more the melodies and stuff like that. That has like, a little, like, it's like different from like writing a piano ballad if you like, and maybe like some sort of slang you use, but, but I don't know. Lyric wise, I always try to stay like true to myself. Um, like just like express myself through like my perspective, which is kind of, I feel like what's making everyone unique. They're like just perspective. So I'm trying to like, not think okay what somebody else what would somebody else say but like how would i say it so um yeah i feel like whatever genre i'm getting inspired by i'm, I'm trying to like lyric wise stay in a like similar lane i don't know <laughs> as far as the writing process for the song goes uh what initially kickstarted the writing process was it a particular lyric that you already had in mind um or or did the melody kind of start it for you so we were actually like me and that producer we like met up and he was like okay what's going on and i'm actually i was like together with a girl by then but like i had like some before that it was like a big story and i told him like a whole story about like we shot a music video in a hotel room um and how i like how that made me like catch feelings for that person and i, I like told him the whole story and he was like yeah there's definitely something to write in there and he was like Duh. he had like that he actually came up with that hook melody something like this and like something with hotel room and then like the whole puzzle came together and we wrote the hook and then i wrote the verses and and um yeah that's how the song came together basically just like me telling my story and him like okay yeah that's cool that's cool let's write something with this and yeah was this song your first experience with jason Haas, uh the producer um and what was it about him that made you want to instantly collaborate with him on a song like this uh, yeah, it was actually the first time we met. Um, it was my first time going to LA, actually. Uh, it was back in, in May 2021. Um, and I was set up with, with him over Ultra Music. They were like, we were talking to them and they were like, yo, we have this producer called Jason Haas. And we just went into a session. And I don't know, it was very easy. Like, they're like different types of sessions. Sometimes you are working for like hours and hours and you don't come up with anything great and sometimes you sit down for like a couple of hours and it just comes to you and it was like i don't know we were vibing pretty good and it was it seemed pretty effortless for some reason so i had that song laying around for like some months and i was like okay yeah i, I really feel like this one is a good one and um yeah let's drop it because it is a different kind of vibe for you um and it's also a vibe that you're that you've been kind of into how did that change the way that you uh recorded your vocals during a, a recording session and then you know did you think about you know as far as like the pockets or the melody goes like did it make you change the way that you uh that you kind of sing you the lyrics i mean 
yeah the thing is like i'm also like a songwriter and i'm writing like a lot of dance stuff something here and there so like i'm used to sing like different genres but i mean i, I didn't sing that much rock stuff yet i mean it's like it's not rock rock but it's like some some rock influences but i don't even know I, I, like i record very like intuitively like i'm not like okay i actually also like never had like singing lessons or something so so it's very it's just like what feels right and like I, I, i know like a little bit about technique but nothing much yet so i don't know but yeah it's probably a bit more aggressive and also like the verse i like kind of rappy which i also like And like instead of like another song that's like my biggest song actually called Broken Parts is like very much like very softly and very emotional. And that one is a bit more into your face for sure. What would you say was the biggest challenge with this with this single? I don't know. Like I don't even know what the challenge was <laughs> to promote it on TikTok before. <laughs> but but I don't know. Maybe like uh, I'm 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 actually receiving like a lot of positive feedback and like i'm very happy about it and people seem to like that was a bit like okay is it too far away from what i've like dropped before um but i'm also like i'm i feel like i'm constantly like evolving i could actually like narrow more down into like one specific genre but i feel like there's too much dope stuff out there that you could like draw influences from so it's like very hard for me to really like be specific on one genre thing but um yeah getting used to that sound but like i mean I, i listen to stuff like that all the time and i wanted to make the song like this so so it was like not not a big decision for me to make to, to drop <laughs> now coming from your feelings ep to now this song hotel room um did you feel like it was a drastic change uh creatively or did you feel like it was just a natural evolution because of the music that you were kind of being more uh into lately um it felt more like a natural evolution um also like all these songs like my first ep my second ep feelings it's like i like the songs that i release as an artist i, I try to like s let them be as close to being real as they can or like as close to my life and what really moves me and matters to me and it's always like kind of like chapters of my life and like hotel room like that kind of chapter was like something that kind of happened after the whole feelings songs that that i created so it's like And there are like a lot of other songs that I also like wrote that could fit into that chapter of Hotel Room, like also like sound wise. And like, I don't know, I just felt like it all kind of matches like this. Also, like having a bit more aggressive sound on these songs, just like from what I've been like going through through that time, which is like over a year ago now already. But it's like it takes forever to like songs are written and come out. So it's like kind of looking back to that time. But uh, yeah, maybe there will be more songs like that coming out soon. Um, I don't know what's have following up um or I'm, i'm figuring out right now but but uh so yeah it's like it's like a new chapter so it's like also like a new sound and that like makes sense to me dope and i i hope and i'm looking forward to this new chapter bringing you more to the states uh so more fans can get to know you and you know we need we need more clyde uh so you know congrats with this new single and like Thanks i so said much. i hope this starts bringing you more uh to the states thank you yeah i'll actually be back next month um coming to New York and Los Angeles for, for some weeks. And I, I might even go for like small tour because there might be some, some call up coming up and we're, we're in the, in the middle of planning some, some small tour on the East coast. So I'm not sure if it happens yet, but it might happen. And I'm very looking, I'm looking very much forward to it. So, so yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to keep an eye out because uh, yeah. if you do come out here, I have to, I have to go catch you. Um, <laughs> that so. would be sick. <laughs> so thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview man congratulations and i'm looking Thanks. forward to doing this again soon yeah thank you so much for your time rob like i, I really appreciate it and um yeah man uh we'll hear from each other